Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we finished out our features page here yesterday. Uh, we just added this sort of pre footer with our address and quick links and a live Google map. Let's move on and build the last page for this site now, the contact page. Here's our root folder with all our page files in it. Let's just copy our features page and turn it into a new contact page. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And let's just rename it to contact. My computer's set to not show known file types. HTML is a known file type. So if yours is set to show the file type, if it says .html after that, make sure when you rename, you put that .html file type on the end so it knows it's an HTML file. Okay, now we've created that. Let's open it with our brackets text editor and style it the way we want to. Brackets is a free text editor. If you don't have one, you can download it from a link below this video. If you've got a favorite text editor you like to use, anyone will do fine. So here we are. Here's our clone features page. Let's just change title to say contact. And we'll fill in the other places as well, the breadcrumbs, etc. Control C. Here's our breadcrumbs. Here's the page title. And there we are. And what we've got here is a section. I guess I'll get rid of this and we'll start this section again for our hero section. So I'm going to select all of that and I'm going to delete it. Let's start a new section. And I'm going to give it an ID so we can put something behind it. Let's give it the ID of say C for contact hero section. So let's call it C hero. That way we can put an image behind it or do whatever we want to do it. Inside this section, what are we going to want? Well, we're going to want our usual container. So it'll be a div with a class of container. So it won't be full width if we put it inside it. Let's give it this class of container, which is what we want. We don't want it to be full width. And inside there, we're going to want our contents, basically. And I'm going to use a class that we've added that we made up called Gap 100. That will give it 70 pixels space top and bottom. Watch some previous videos if you're not sure what I'm doing here. We just created a gap a class called Gap 100 that will add space top and bottom. All right, and we want it. I kind of want a picture in the background and then the picture in the background, perhaps a light color. And just on the right left hand side, we'll have some text. And on the right hand side, I guess we'll just have whatever the image is, somebody answering a phone or something like that. So let's create a new div and make it a row. Div with a class of row. And inside that row, I'm going to want two columns. So like we said many times before, the bootstrap is made up of 12. So if you want two, columns of 2, you've got to divide 12 by 2 which will give us 6. So let's make this a column, div with a class of column, medium, 6. And if you're not sure about our columns and structures and that, down below the video I've got a, a link to another video dedicated to columns. Do have a look at that because it will clear up all the mystery of columns and rows and things for you. It's quite handy to know. Okay, so we've got one column there that we'll have a bit of text in. I'll put another column in. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to have anything inside it just yet. 
may be redundant. Okay, so we've got our section, we've got our container with the gap top and bottom of 70 picks, we've got a row with two columns in it. Okay, and the first of our columns, I guess we we're going to want to have something in there as a title. So we'll make it H2. H2. We've previously styled our H2 to be big and blue, which is fine in this case. Something like reach out to us today. And then let's have a bit of paragraph text. And I guess we'll split it up with some breakpoints. Well, let's just grab some dummy text here. Now, what? A fair bit for a paragraph. That's fine. I'm going to put a break in there so it starts on a new line. Could just wrap it in some more P tags. I'll put that cut that one off just change it slightly and we'll put another break in there and do that again and that should be plenty of text for this particular one obviously you'll have some proper text if you're building a site for a customer or a client or even for yourself okay I'm pretty sure that's going to do it we can always change it in a minute all right, so let's see what we got. It's not going to look too pretty at the moment. But let's save that and let's open our contact.html page. Control S to save. And here's the page. Double click to open it in our browser of choice. There we have, there we go. Okay, there's our frequently answered questions. Fine, that's <laughs> reach, retch out to us today. I might want to change that. Okay, let's do one thing at a time. I've got to change that and spell it right. I think I want to justify this text. And we want to put a nice image behind this here. So we'll do that. Let's go back to our HTML. And R E A C H, we'll spell that right. And this paragraph text, we'll give it the class of text justify. That will make it square up a bit more. Let's save that back to the site. <coughs> Refresh. There we go. Spelt that right now. And this is a little more uniform where I've justified that tech text it's sort of squared so let's find an image what I'll do is I'm going to go to Shutterstock here's my root folder here's our file we've had our images in I'm going to go find a nice image to put in there there we go I've downloaded an image it's it's I made mine 1920 by 1536 doesn't matter too much you want it fairly large if it's going to cover the screen here else it will go blurry so I want to put that as the background to this section here and it's called CTBG1 like contact background one and it's just actually an image of a lady on the phone and I've just put a light gradient on the right hand left hand side to make sure this text is going to stand out so CTBG1, so we want to put this on our background here. Go back to our text editor. Section's called Chero. Chero? <laughs> I guess it's Chero. So that's where we want to put our background. So let's go to our custom CSS and do that. Let's start a new title, go down the bottom. I've conveniently got one forward slash there already. So it's forward slash star star forward slash and the thing we write between the two stars will not be read as code so it's great for titles it makes it easier to find whatever it is you're looking for okay and it was an ID and it was Chero so it's an ID so it's got to be a hashtag and it was contact hero section Chero and we want that image so we've got to find where that image is so we'll say background dash image 
I'll put this CSS down below in case you want to use it. You're more than welcome to. Um, and where is our image? Well, we want to use the URL. We can type it in, or you can check the link here with brackets. It'll put it there. And it's in our image folder, IMG forward slash, and it's called contact I think it was called there it is contact background one CTBG one there it is if you hover over it it should show you a preview of the picture yep yeah, that's it fine okay that's great and we want to make sure it covers the whole background it should do because it's plenty big enough but just in case we're going to say background size and we'll say cover and let's just save that and see what we've got control s let's go back to the site that should have put that image in there let's see if it's going to work okay yeah it does work but not exactly what I'm looking for there all we can see is the top of her head I want to see more over here let's what if we make this fix so it stays where we are where we roll up and we'll give this a minimum height say 500 I don't think that's gonna make a lot of difference but let's just try it anyway so let's say background attachment fixed That'll make it stay still when we scroll. We'll give it a minimum height. I don't think that will make any difference at the moment because I think it's probably already that height, 500 pixels. See if that's made any difference. Control S and refresh. Yeah, that's better. As you can see the actual picture of the lady on the phone now when we scroll yeah that's absolutely fine she'll stay still and there we have it well i'll leave that there today tomorrow we'll build the actual form we'll get rid of this section and have our purple section with a form and an address in there so i hope you found that useful that's how to add your hero section to your contact page with a fixed background if you've enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium web development courses with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.